Now, don't be silly, Erica. No one's sneering at you. The world isn't holding its breath to see whether you and Mike Roy get married or not. Oh, you listen to how cynical you sound. My own mother. I'm just trying to give you a little perspective. You really have nothing to be so down in the dumps about. Oh, really? Well, for your information, just last night, she be targeting around asking me, am I living together with Mike? Don't pay any attention to her. Let her wonder. Mrs. Phoebe Tyler has little else to do. Oh, really? Well, how can I let her just gossip like that? She'll spread gossip all over town, Mother, and I will be ruined. Don't you understand that? See, you're much more concerned about this than you were when people were really gossiping and you and Mike rushed into the marriage. That was entirely different. There was something bold and something wonderful about how fast we had to get married because we loved each other. It was so strong, we just couldn't wait. Well, anyway, everyone knows that you're back together again. And that's all that's really important, even though you haven't bothered to get married. Mother, it looks very suspicious. It looks like Mike is having second thoughts. I don't know why you say that. Why do people assume it was Mike when, when it could just as easily be you? Who wants to wait? Mother, I gave up Adam's fortune to marry Ma Mike. And now it just looks like Mike doesn't want anything to do with me, you know, now that I'm penniless. And you know that's not true. Oh, Papa. Oh, my image is at such a critical point right now, Mother. Do you think that women are going to want to wear clothes with my name on it? If they think that I can't even get my man to marry me? Honey, you have a very important television career. And it has nothing to do with whether you're Mrs. Mike Roy or not. You just don't know, Mother. When the public finds one little blemish, they just love to pick, pick, pick. Excuse me, Mrs. Roy. What? Well, as I was just telling your husband, I think I can find some blue and white tiles for that bathroom that'll keep that early American look. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, I'm thinking maybe the kitchen might be a better place for those tiles. Oh, uh, Daddy, why don't you check that out? Check that out with me, Mr. Long, okay? I have just a really important errand to run. Uh, where are you going? I have a brilliant idea. I'm afraid to ask, but what is it? Well, I'm not telling. But it will save my reputation. 